Well, we all wish we were done with winter entirely, but clearly we're not. WBZ's Penny Commit is in Fitchburg to show us how people are preparing there. Well, I thought it was an April Fool's joke, and I'm still hoping that it is. Fitchburg's mayor, Sam Squalia, was just one of many who thought the news of an April snowstorm was a cruel prank. That groundhog lied to us. I'm very upset. It is April. Why is there snow coming? That's what I want to know. Where are my tulips, my daffodils? Fitchburg, like many cities, had started putting away their winter equipment and gearing up for spring. But over the last several days, they've had to reverse course and started loading up on salt and sand. So we are ready for salt. We have uh, our plows and sanders. We had started taking those off in preparation for spring cleanup. So we are reattaching our plows and sanders. Local businesses have faced this challenge too. Just down the road at Sabor and Hardware, leaf rakes are going hand in hand with snow shovels. We want to get all the spring stuff out, out, out on the floor and start selling it and put this stuff away, <laughs> but we can't. Fitchburg says they have about 10 to 20 plow trucks ready to go, but are relying on outside contractors to get the job done. JSP Solutions, a snow and tree removal service out of Ashby, say their crews have been planning for days and are prepared to service the northern tier of Massachusetts and up into Manchester. Once it changes over from rain and sleep over to snow, we're going to have crews out and we're going to we're going to go out and treat uh, parking lots. That expected mixture of heavy rain and snow could also lead to power outages. Officials recommend having enough supplies for at least one or two days. The, the DPW will be working, you know, with the police department, with the fire department, and with Unitil in the case of any power outage or any, you know, municipal emergency needs. In Fitchburg, Penny Commit, WBZ News.